J.D. Vance's remarks about rising egg and food prices under Kamala Harris underscore broader concerns about economic instability and government policy. His critique taps into conservative principles of fiscal responsibility, keeping inflation low, and minimizing government interference in the market. Vance's criticism of Harris, particularly her tie-breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, aligns with public frustration over how economic policies are affecting the cost of living. Eggs, when Kamala Harris took office, were short of $1.50 a dozen. Now a dozen eggs will cost you around $4, thanks to Kamala Harris's inflationary policies. Pennsylvania actually has seen some of the worst grocery price increases of the entire nation. And again, it's because she cast the deciding vote on the Inflation Explosion Act. I think we want Pennsylvanians to be able to afford groceries. We want our young families to be able to buy food at a reasonable price in the grocery store. And the only way to do that is to get back to common sense economic policies and fire Kamala Harris. This is a person who's presided over a thousand dollar increase in monthly uh, expenses just to afford the same life you could have afforded three and a half years ago. It costs you over a thousand dollars a month here in Pennsylvania. If we could do so much better. We certainly will. And as the father of a couple of kids who eat a whole lot, we certainly need to do better for the next generation. God bless you guys. By focusing on everyday essentials like eggs, Vance connects with ordinary voters, especially working families who are disproportionately hit by inflation. His comments are relatable to many, particularly when he references his own experience as a father with children who eat a whole lot, making his message more personal and accessible. This rising cost of living resonates with families, emphasizing the need for economic policies that protect middle and lower class welfare. Vance's proposed solution, advocating for Harris's removal and a shift toward common sense economic policies, appeals to those who believe the government should reduce its influence on the market to restore stable economic conditions. His rhetoric frames Harris's policies as directly responsible for current economic hardships, positioning his message within the broader narrative of inflation government overreach, and personal financial responsibility.